U.S. Vice President Kamala Harris called out Israel on Sunday for not doing enough to ease a, quote, humanitarian catastrophe in Gaza in what appeared to be the sharpest rebuke yet by a senior leader in the U.S. government. People in Gaza are starving. The conditions are inhumane. And our common humanity compels us to act. And the Israeli government must do more to significantly increase the flow of aid. No excuses. Speaking in Alabama, Harris said Israel must open new border crossings and not impose, quote, unnecessary restrictions on aid delivery. She also called for an immediate ceasefire in Gaza and urged Hamas to accept a deal to release hostages in return for a pause in fighting. And given the immense scale of suffering in Gaza, there must be an immediate ceasefire. For at least the next six weeks, which is what is currently on the table. The comments come after an aid delivery disaster last week near Gaza City in which 115 people were killed, according to Gaza health authorities. They attribute the deaths to Israeli forces who they say fired on Palestinians as they rushed towards aid delivery trucks. Israel disputed the death toll figure and said most victims were trampled or run over. Harris's comments reflect intense frustration, if not desperation, within the U.S. government about the war which has hurt President Joe Biden with left-leaning voters as he seeks re-election this year. Harris is scheduled to meet with Israeli War Cabinet member Benny Gantz on Monday at the White House, where she is expected to deliver a similarly direct message.